Hello everyone, this is Mr. Informal back with another Dragon Ball Super episode review. This time it is episode 73. We are introduced to the great Saiya man. Not only that, Dragon Ball Super is back for the New Year's for the 2017. And so let's get on with the review after a long one week of hiatus after one week of no dragon ball super we are finally back to the regular program schedule this time it's about the great Saiyaman and how an actor named barry khan actress kokoa and mr satan decide to make a movie about the great Saiyaman. Basically, we have an actor, an actress, and obviously the teacher reminds you of the Karate Kid. So now, let's get on with the review. First and foremost, this is just for entertainment purposes. There was not a lot of fighting. It's more like we're, they're in a movie, making a movie about Grey Saiyaman. Not only that, this episode is basically just... Gohan pretending not to be the great Saiyan man. But let's get on for the first part of how we ended up getting into this episode. So Saiyan man made a deal with Barry Khan to make a movie because Barry Khan wanted to do a movie with uh, Mr. Satan. So he decided to do a movie and about Saiyan man. And so that's how it all came together and Gohan didn't know about it. He forgot about the Saiyan man costume and his heroics, his heroics to the public. And Gohan takes on the role of being the stuntman of Barry Khan, who is the great Saiyan man in the, in the movie. And basically, everyone is all shocked, and everyone thinks Gohan is actually the great Saiyan man. Not only that, in this episode also we are introduced back to Jaco and he caught a diabolical villain or you, I'm not sure you could call it a villain. And in this episode, he, that villain is an alien. It's a small octopus-like alien. He takes over a bank robber body and he fights off Gohan or in his costume Saiyan man and uh, Gohan easily defeats this person and that alien escapes and Gohan notices it a little bit that he escaped and also we also Kokoa also finds out overheard overheard Boma and Gohan talk about in the in the roof of the building how Gohan is a great Saiyan man and how Gohan was thankful for Boma for not telling the truth and having an alibi and Kokoa decided to tell Gohan hey can you fly me home and Gohan said sure and Gohan was surprised actually that Kokoa found out that he is actually the great Saiyan man and so he founds out and then we see Jaco Jaco thinking that uh, the villain took over the great Saiyan man's body and Gohan didn't know about it uh, uh, Jaco fires up a beam to Gohan to incinerate Gohan at a cellular level basically Gohan is gonna get killed if he gets uh, shot by the beam and so that ends the episode and we are treated by a new ending which is great basically reminiscing about the first uh the first episode of Dragon Ball Super up until now. And so what do I think of this episode? This episode is just basically a entertainment. It's a filler. And it's a filler to what is about to come. And I cannot wait. As for this episode, at least we get to see Gohan and Pan interact. Gohan and Videl interact. I... We are, this is the first time that we see Videl is romantically supporting her husband. So that's great. We also, we also, it's also great to see that Pan is not crying. She's all happy. We also great to see Mr. Satan actually want Gohan to be famous. I'm surprised. But Videl and Gohan doesn't want to be 
who doesn't want Mr. Satan to reveal Gotan's true identity. And so that's great because I think Videl Mr. Satan already has a lot of money. We all know Mr. Satan is famous. He is Earth's hero to the public eyes. And so this episode is alright. Nothing really much to say. Not replayable. Not watch, not watchable again. And yeah, that, that's basically it for my review of this episode. It basically concludes it. If you enjoyed this episode, let me know if you think that there are certain improvements that this episode can be better let me know too and so that is my episode review of dragon ball super episode 73 i will see you in the next dragon ball super review